Hello guys, today I will talk about more complex SQL queries or eloquent queries with a lot of conditions. So select from the table where one condition and another condition or another condition and stuff like that. And I see one typical mistakes a lot of people make and I will show you that mistake and how to avoid it. So imagine an example, database table users with name, gender and birth date and we need to have a query of male users who are under age of 9 or over 65. So for example, we want to exclude small children and people over 65 from some, I don't know, race, for example. And according to that data, probably you would have to filter those two. So under 9 and over 65. And in the code, you would write something like this. User where gender male and uh, where birth date is under 9 or birth date is over 65, something like that. Nothing really bad here, right, you would say. But if we take a look at the table, we have female for some reason. We didn't filter female, did we? Now let's take a look at that entry. Yep, it is female, but she is also over age of 65. So how did she get here? To understand that error, we need to transform that query into actual SQL. So let's do instead of get, we do to SQL and we just dump that DT users, for example. Let's refresh the page and let's see the actual query. Select from users where gender is male and birth date or birth date. And here you need to remember a theory of databases or in fact logical statements. And you need to know that and operator has more priority than or operator. In this case, it will have gender and birth date or birth date. So in other words, the brackets would be here. So gender and birth date or birth date, which means that this statement doesn't include the male filter. So the result will be gender male under nine or anyone over age of 65. So we need to put the brackets in the correct place, which is here, birth date or birth date. And for that, in eloquent, we will do so-called parameter grouping. So instead of where or where, we need to add one where statement with a callback function, function query, and then put those two inside of it. So inside of that function, we do query and then add those statements, query where or where at the end, and then to SQL. Now let's take a look what query we have now. Refresh. And as you can see, we have bracket here, and this is exactly what we need. So we have select from users where gender is male and birth date is within condition. And if we transform back to get and remove that line and refresh table, we see that only male records, we see the correct records, we don't see any female records here. And this is exactly what we needed. Uh, you can read about that in official Laravel documentation under queries, it's called parameter grouping. It's pretty similar scenario to my own, it's just with DB table and not with eloquent query. But you get the point, you need to group the parameters if you have more complex and or combinations. And that's it for today. If you like these videos about Laravel and you want me to shoot more of them, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. Either use our Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator or purchase one of my courses at Teachable. And then I will have more free time to shoot more free videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.